it is storming up in the mountains. It was storming here too, but I had to take cover. Okay, I was lucky enough to get a huge uh, ama rock crab, wine rock crab here. So, it's foaming at the mouth. Pitched me pretty hard too, so I'm just gonna chuck it out real nice and easy here. And see what's gonna happen. Hopefully it's something good. Oh, what a hit, what a hit, what a hit. Nice hit, whoa, still going. Just when I happened to take off my camera to clean the lens off because of all the rain, this hits and it took me about 20 seconds to put it back on. I put this one up in the shallows too. So, good chance that it might be a bonefish, which is in a wheel. I'm kind of worried about that metal post there though. And I have to keep the line high above it like I'm doing now. A lot of the fish here, they're used to that metal post. They know that's the way they can get loose. This is probably a wheel, but it could be a appeal whoa oh that's in a wheel see it now big one it's a big one whoa big one is right let's see I'm gonna try to. Woohoo! Good fight, good fight, good fight. Let me see if I can. Oh, that's one way, BG. Will he stay there, though? Nope. <laughs> My net. My net's back there. Shoot. Okay. Well, I'm gonna have to take you into the shallows. Take you this way. There. It's gonna have to beat you this way. Well, it's not the way I normally bring him in, but he's beached. Oh, that's a. Uh, Big wheel too, look at the size of that sucker. Wow, very good, very good. Ah. Ooh, that thing hit hard. Let's see if I can make a dash to get my net. Okay, hike down. Woohoo! He is a big one. Good size. All right. Okay, put him in the net. Wow, he's big. This is a big sucker. Oh. Whew. Just be careful, Chris. Not as young or as nimble as I used to be. 
Although the brain thinks I am, body says no. Stupid body. All right. We got gotcha. you. I just put this out in about 10 minutes. Boy, like I said, he's a big one. Wow, good size. Really good size. After the big rainstorm we just had, wow. Wow. All right, Chris. That's uh, definitely a keeper. Whew. Okay, my grip scale here is in kilograms, so kilos, so. Oh, boy, I'm tired. That was a good battle. It's saying it's. I was saying that it. Yeah, let me see. Uh, 3.1 kilos so not a bad not a bad one depends how accurate this grip scaler is <sighs> okay as you notice in the middle is the tree hot that's the three slash zero that's what you call tree hot that's why I just took the big bone fish on on the right is the two hot and on the left is the larger four out. Now, when I go for a little bit bigger fish, I tend to use the four out on the reef. The three out is a good all around size, and the two out is also not a bad size. But I caught this one on the three out. Alrighty, just pulled in a huge bonefish with my Sedro Surf. This one says it's 12 feet, medium, heavy action. 15 to 30 pound test line, two to four ounces. So I was using only, I would have a two on this. I mean, if I went two and a half or three, wow, I can cast so far, but watch this. This is just with a two. It's really amazing. Going, 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 going there. That was tremendous hang time. I love this thing. I mean, it is, by far my longest casting surf rod I own and just that's just what a two ounce if I went to a tree it's like wow I'll, I'll get further distance but yeah, there's no need for that I, I'm easily making over a hundred yards with this this is a good combination very well balanced I'm very happy with it Okuma makes some great stuff Okay. Should have figured it was somebody like you.
This is not a good sign. The line just went taut and it's, look, it's going off again. I, I, it's weird, it went taunt, slack taunt. There is something with this crab. Let's see. Oh yeah. Don't know what it is though. Something has the crab. And it's moving. Ah, oh, you stupid puffer fish. You got my crab. That was my best bait around. Ah, uh, time to bring you up and take the hook out. Oh man, that was my good bait too. Oh. Oh well. I'll release you. And here I actually thought I had something. Well, something good. But this puffer actually swallowed that whole crab. That's amazing. Pain in the butt, I tell you, trying to get the hooks out of here. Some people will kill these things by leaving it on the shoreline because they don't want it to hit the lines again. I don't do stuff like that. It's not the fish's fault. He, he's trying to eat like the rest of us. Ah, gotta get the longer ones. Oh. Yeah, got the long ones. Okay, I know you're just trying to eat, buddy, but you should be happy that I'm the one that caught you. Boy, you really can bite hard, can you? If somebody else caught you instead of me, chances are they would have left you. Uh. Combine this with the short one, I guess. There. Uh, uh. yeah. Okay, sorry for the rough treatment, but like I said, if anybody else caught you, that would have been it already for you. You would have been toast. People are not very nice to puffers. And I'm having a hard time trying to pick you up. If I put you in my net, all those spines are gonna get caught up in my net. So, ah, okay. Okay, sorry, but I'm gonna have to do it this way. I can't pick him up in the net. He would inflate and all those spines would go out. Wow. Okay, try it again. Okay, come on. I want you to survive so you can make me frustrated again by doing the same thing again another day. Ugh. Uh, looks like he's gonna be okay. Come on, guy, turn over. Oh, oh boy, I tell you. First, that big bonefish, and now this. And I already caught one of you guys earlier. Well, it could have been the same one, too, for all I know. <coughs> there he goes. He's right hitting himself. Spitting out the air. All right. I'm glad you're okay. Whew. Man, 
that puffer swallowed the whole crab and this is a 5 watt which is a fairly decent sized circle hook but uh, he swallowed everything that's amazing Rockfish. <laughs> All right.